Hello, everyone, and welcome to Seven Days of Halloween. It is day four, and today we're going to be creating this creepy Undertaker card using one of the new stamp sets from Tim Holtz. We're also going to be working with one of the new paper collections that came out this Halloween season. This stamp set has everything you need to create a great Halloween card. The uh, main image is a skeleton image and I decided to stamp it onto some vellum for this card and create sort of a mirror effect. Now when stamping on vellum, it does take a little bit of time to dry. So to help that process, I decided to add some clear embossing powder and dry it with my heating tool. I chose to die cut this paper using my fancy oval frame because I kind of wanted it to look like a Snow White Wicked Witch mirror. And I thought this die cut was the perfect fit. This paper that I'm working with is from DCWV and it's called Tattered Time. If you're a steampunk fan, uh, this matte stack has some great images and I would highly recommend it. Now I also chose to cut out an oval in the center of my frame because I wanted to actually matte the vellum rather than put it right on top of the paper stack. I wanted my vellum to be clear in the middle um, because I'm going to have some blood in the background that I wanted to show through. I also found this great skeleton washi tape um, at Michael's and I thought it was a great addition to my card as well. Now the stencil that I'm working with is called Stripes and it is from the Tim Holtz collection and the distress paint is called Fired Brick. I tried out several types of mediums to create my bloody background and I found that the distress paint actually worked the best with this stencil. If you're not careful, the stencil will move on you. And I found using the distress paint enabled me to actually glide it on very easily. It has a script stamp, which is great for backgrounds. Now I wanted to make sure to not add the script behind where I was gonna put my skeleton, because again, I am going for a mirror look. And if I did have any stamping behind that vellum, it would show through. The stamp set also comes with this great Undertaker stamp which kind of looks like ephemera. Not only does it work great for this card, but you could actually stamp it onto some Halloween paper and it would make for some great ephemera. Now, typically my go-to color for distressing my edges is my walnut stain. But since I am going for a Undertaker look, I thought black soot would work great. One thing I wish I would have done is to actually start my distressing tool onto my mat because the left corner actually got a little darker than I would have wanted. Uh, but overall, I think it works. Now I do have a Xyron machine, uh, which works great with vellum because you won't have any marks of glue or tape behind your vellum. But if you don't have a Xyron machine, you're gonna just wanna make sure that you do put the glue onto the frame portion. That way you won't have any evidence of it on your vellum. Now the paper that I'm using is from the new release of Tim Holtz Halloween set. It is a great set and I would recommend it. Not only does it have some great paper, but it also has some wonderful ephemera as well. I really like Tim's paper stacks. Uh, not only is it really good quality paper, but it's double-sided as well. And the images not only work great for Halloween, but they're gonna work for other 
projects and other occasions as well. Now you can never go wrong with metal word bands. I have several in my stash, uh, but of course I had to buy the new ones that were released for the Halloween season. I did compare the size to the ones that I already have, and they are a bit smaller. Um, but what I like about this set is every word or every sentiment works great on a Halloween project. Now for the most part, my card was complete. All I needed to do was add it onto my white card base. Um, but after taking a closer look at it, I decided that I did need to add just a little bit more blood. So I came in with my red distress crayon and added some blood onto parts of the card as well as the metal band. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed card number four of my seven days of Halloween series. As always, I will leave a list of all the products that I've used to create this card as well as links to the stores. I would love it if you would leave me a comment and this does enter you into a drawing to win all seven cars at the end of my series. But you also need to be a subscriber, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't left comments on any of the other videos, you're going to want to go back and do that as well. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.